All right, take a look. This number may shock you. By 2020, it is predicted that 75% of Americans will be considered obese or overweight. That is according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. So the question is, how can we curb that number? Nutrition coach and author Mark McDonald says the answer may be simpler than you think. Good morning, Mark. Glad morning, you're here. Guys. All right, Thanks so we like simple. We love simple <laughs> answers. So, all right, you say that the key to losing weight and keeping it off is actually to reprogram your metabolism. Yeah. Um, but you say that it all begins really with just two easy steps. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. It's not the simplest thing. Yeah. Well, once you get it, it's all about understanding your starting point and what your metabolism is. And there's two wild cards, two genetic things that you're programmed with, which is your body type and your set point. So the first step then, I guess, would be to identifying your body type, right? There's several types, and that all affects your metabolism. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times when people want to lose weight, they just think, well, because my friend can do it or my sister can do it, I should be able to do it. And it just doesn't, doesn't work, work that like way. that. <laughs> so like, just like how everyone's born with different gifts, there's three body types. An ectomorph is like that person who can eat whatever they want and never gain weight. Mm. I know. I hate those people. <laughs> yeah. And they're like a road bike, like built for speed, fast uh. metabolism. A mesomorph is someone who's like 10 pounds where they want to be. Be. They can put muscle on or fat, and the end, the endomorph is that person who seems to just look at food and gain weight. Mm. And I call them like a beach cruiser. So whether you're a road bike or a mountain bike like the mesomorph or a beach cruiser, all three bikes can go from LA to New York. Some just have to work a little bit harder. I love how you did that. That's a great <laughs> analogy. Um, all right. So once you identify your body type, yeah. what's the next thing? So it's understanding your set point. So when people diet, they get excited because they're at an inflated weight. Their pants are too tight, their weight's too heavy, and they're above their normal weight, so they quickly drop, but they hit that set point, that plateau weight mm -hmm. that they can never break through. And that's, where, that's why diets fail people. So once you understand your set point and you know that, okay, I'm at my set point, I have to change my strategies to reprogram my metabolism. And how long does something like that take? I mean, once you know your body type and your set point. It, it depends on what you're doing. If you're focused on calories in versus calories out and dieting, you will never reprogram your metabolism. That's why that study is 75%. We're teaching the wrong concepts. We're teaching people how to eat healthy and how to exercise, but we're not teaching people how to eat correctly. We have to stabilize our blood sugar. So once you implement the right strategies, and instead of using food to lose weight, use it to create hormonal mm -hmm. balance, then you can systematically take your body wherever you want. You know, you always see on the cover of uh, a lot of women's magazines, it'll say something like, speed up your metabolism, mm -hmm. foods that should, you know, that you should eat to speed up your metabolism. Yeah. Is there, I mean, are there really foods that can actually increase your metabolism? It's about stable blood sugar. Just like we were talking before, it's all about eating the right amount of protein, fat, carbohydrates per meal that stabilize your blood sugar, the right calories per meal in the right intervals, about five to six times a day. So it may not be the simplest thing, but once you get it, Randy, you can do anything. Like you, un you can eat the foods that you love. You can eat when you travel. You just have to get educated. That's what we have to shift. We have to educate people. And when you understand your body, take it wherever you want. Everything's possible. Right. And you should eat first thing, right? I mean, you should get you get that metabolism yeah. kicking right away. Because every time you miss a meal, your blood sugar drops and your body burns muscle, which slows down your metabolism. And then you go into that next meal, not craving chicken or tuna. You're craving the carbohydrates and exactly. good stuff. You overeat, and that makes you store fat. So you have to eat within an hour upon waking, every three to four hours within an hour upon bedtime. And once you keep your blood sugar balanced, you release your stored fat. And then with the right exercise, you burn that fat See, up. A lot of people say, oh, you know, those eat, eat a lot of small meals and they think mm -hmm. I'm going to overeat. So what, yeah. what should a small meal look like in terms of calories? For like a female, for like yourself? Um, as a vegetarian, mm -hmm. I mean, you could do like um, uh, eight ounces of Greek yogurt, like a cup of Greek yogurt, um, some blueberries, like two, three ounces of blueberries, handful of blueberries, and some almonds or cashews because you love cashews. Right. That would be your protein. <laughs> Give away all my secrets. <laughs> I live on cashews. I admit it. <laughs> so females about 250 calories per meal. And what about, about for somebody like you? Uh, about 400 calories per meal. So I would eat similar to you, just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more protein, a little bit more fat, a little bit more carbohydrates. An equal amount of protein to carbs and fat. And please tell our viewers that, that starving themselves and skipping meals is not the way to lose weight, right? I mean, that slows down your metabolism, it, doesn't it? So this is the tricky thing. You lose weight, but you hit a plateau you can't go through, which causes yo-yo dieting. So cutting calories will may help you lose weight, but you will hit a plateau you can't break through. To reprogram your metabolism, if you skip meals, you will forever slow down your metabolism and only regress. 
If you understand how to eat the food you love and bounce your blood sugar, you can take your body wherever you want and permanently reprogram it. All right. I love it. That's great <laughs> news. Eating often, looking good. And enjoying it. your food, right? Yeah. You've got to enjoy it. That's the key. I agree. I hear you there. All right, Mark. Nice to have you on. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Randy. Good to see you.